and taking you through a kettlebell workout. So you do just need the one kettlebell, go have a very quick warm up and then we'll get going with our exercises. So circling those shoulders back, nice and mobile, take into our arm swings. That's it, nice and wide. Good, take those arm swings up and over. Squeeze that core nice and tight. Keep breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Bring it into our leg swings. Open and close the gates, okay? Just mobilising the hips, making sure that they're nice and warm. Into leg swings. That's it, forwards and back. And exactly the same on the other side. So we're going for six exercises today, okay? We're going to work for 25 seconds with a very quick 10 second break to swap over if we need to. Um, but we are going to do each exercise two times through. Okay, you'll be able to look at the timer on the screen. Grab your kettlebell, we're at the end, we're going to show you the first exercise and then stick your timer. We're going for a single arm swing. Okay, so each time we swap at the bottom, make sure you've got a nice flat back as you hinge forwards. Okay, when we are ready guys, steady. I'm just going to count us down, three, two, one, let's get going. So 25 second work, push those glutes forwards, that's it, hip thrust to help the weight, keep momentum, and breathe steady, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Relax there, take a few seconds, give it a little shake out. We're going to do exactly the same exercise again. Three, two, one, off we go. Nice work, keep that breathing steady. Keep engaging those hips as you push forward with weight. Squeeze that core nice and tight. And good job. 10 second break. We're going to stand on one foot, that other foot is dug in behind us. Nice straight leg, hinging forwards. And back up. That's it. So I've got my right leg forwards right now. Each time you come up, squeeze those glutes, push those hips forwards a little bit. Other legs just dug in behind us for a little bit of balance. Keep breathing steady. And nice work. We're going to swap onto that other leg for this next timer. So dig that other one in behind us. Nice straight leg at the front. Hinging forwards. That's a 25 second work. Keep it going, squeeze those glutes forwards. Now our next two rounds are exactly the same once more on each leg. Okay, I'm going to show you the progression. And relax there. So your progression can be, if you want it to be, single leg balance, okay? But otherwise keep that foot dug in. You want to stay nice and stable. So balance in that. Nice flat back as you hinge forwards. Breathing steady. Go on, guys. The last few seconds. Good job. On the foot, exactly the same. If you want to progress it, find that balance in great. If not, keep that foot dug in behind you. Let's get going. 25 seconds. That's it. Keep it steady. The leg that you're standing on is pretty straight. You want to feel a bit of a stretch down the back of that leg. Keep squeezing that core in. And nice work. We're bringing it into what's called a flexion pulse. Knees slightly bent, weight just on one side. Hand up by the head. 
count with flexing from the hips. Take it over and up. Or just down to one side. Squeeze that core nice and tight and feel that little V shape starting to work on the core. Breathe steady, guys. Nice, strong cores and backs. There you go, 10 second break. Exactly the same on the other side. So hand up ready, knees slightly bent, core brace, and off we go. That's it, feet nice and stable. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Really important. Enjoyed it and I hope to see you again on my 